Hello everyone and welcome to the Control S4 and Timecode tutorial from TractorBible.com. My name is Rainer Haselier and today I want to show you how you can set up your Traktor Control S4 for use with Timecode. The first thing you need to do is connect your turntables or CD players to the input ports of the S4. Use input channel C for the player you want to use to control deck A. And use input channel D for the player you want to use to control deck B. Each of the input ports of the S4 has an input mode switch. You need to set it to phono if you have a turntable that provides a phono level signal. In case you have a CD player or a turntable with line level output, you must set the input mode switch to line. Input port D is a little bit special because this port has different functions. Please note that you cannot connect a microphone to the microphone socket. If you do so, this will disable the two RCA jacks of port D. And then the time code signal from the player who is connected here will not be available in Traktor. Then we have the through mode USB mode switch for port D. And this one must be set to USB. In USB mode, the input from the player is routed to Traktor. And that's exactly what we need. One more thing is important if you use turntables. In this case, you must connect the earth leads of your turntables to the ground terminal screw of the S4. This will help you to get a distortion-free and a better time code signal into Traktor. Once the cabling is done, we need to do some configuration inside Traktor. Go to the Preferences window and then open the Input Routing tab. What you need to do here is to assign the inputs of the S4 to the Traktor decks you want to use with time code. Go to section Input Deck A and select the left and the right channel of input C. Then go to input deck B and select the left and the right channel of input D. Let's move on to the DEX panel. Here in section platter scope you can enable the scope panel for your timecode decks. Open the lists for deck A and deck B and set them both to scope. That's it. We don't need the preferences window anymore and can close it. Let's have a look at the decks now. On the input routing tab we assigned the timecode signal to the tractor decks. But that's not enough to make timecode work. What we need to do as well is set the deck mode to scratch control. If we don't do this, tractor will ignore the timecode signal. To do this Click on the deck letter. This opens the context menu and here you can click on scratch control. Currently internal playback is enabled. That means your deck will be controlled by a MIDI controller but not by timecode. Now let's have a look at the transport section of deck A. If you set a deck to scratch control, the buttons here will change. If you see the buttons with the turntable icons, as here for deck A, then the deck is in timecode mode. On deck B, we can still see the Q and the Q play button. This means that deck B is still in an internal playback mode. And then, as I said, any timecode signal will be ignored. So let's switch deck B to timecode mode as well. All right. Now that the configuration is done, we can test to see if everything is working. Drop the needle on your timecode vinyl or start playback of your CD player. Now as you can see, the scope becomes alive. When you use timecode on a deck for the first time, Traktor will calibrate the timecode decoder automatically. And during the, the calibration, Traktor detects the timecode medium as well. The medium you use is shown here below the scope. I am using the 10 minute side of the timecode vinyl. And on the scope 
you should see the two calibration circles now. The two circles should meet in the upper left corner of the scope. Then the left and the right channel are properly connected. If the two circles meet at the right lower corner, then the left and the right channel are swapped. Here at the right side of the scope panel, you see what's called the time code quality meter. And the bar in the meter should be completely or almost completely be filled. Then the time code quality is good. Let's go back to the transport section. The play button activates a mode which is called internal mode. The second button here activates time code control. If you click it, the deck will be set to relative time code mode. In relative mode, Traktor detects only the playback speed and the playback direction of your time code. The playback position on the medium is not used. If you pick up the needle and drop it somewhere else on the vinyl, then the playback will resume at the same position of the track where playback was stopped. The third button sets the deck to absolute time code mode. In absolute mode, Tractor does consider the playback position of the time code medium. The playback speed and the direction are used as well, the same as in relative mode. But if you lift the needle now and drop it maybe one minute further towards the end of the vinyl, then the track will be played from the new position on the vinyl. The play button on the S4 always starts playback in internal mode. This is actually the same as clicking the play button on the deck. In the default mapping of the S4, there are no buttons mapped to switch to absolute or relative time code mode. To solve this, I made a little add-on mapping for the S4. You can download the mapping from the companion website for this tutorial on tractorbible.com. If you are watching this video on YouTube, check the description here below. You find the download link there. Download the mapping and then go to Preferences. Open the Controller Manager panel and here you click on Add and then on Import. Go to the folder with the downloaded mapping, select it and open it. Now check the Import drop-down here to make sure that the S4 controller is selected. This add-on mapping adds some new functionality to the Q buttons on the controller. You can now use Shift plus Q to activate relative mode by pressing the left Q button and to activate absolute mode by pressing the right Q button. I used the same order as the buttons in the transport section. And the Q buttons here on the left side of the controller are mapped to deck A and the Q buttons on the right side of the controller are mapped to deck B. Alright, this ends the Traktor Control S4 and Timecode tutorial. Have fun, make some music and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Adios.